Everybody loves a good comeback story, me included. My last real video was over a year ago. No, the furry video doesn't count. I've been around, mostly on Twitter, sad maxing and watching gamers harass women off the platform. To be frank, I haven't released any videos because one, I'm lazy and two, I'm afraid. Fear of being perceived is very real and it took for my frontal lobe to finish developing for me to get it. I have a lot of respect for people who can just create endlessly, especially in a world where we bully women off the internet for thinking black people should be in video games. I made a tweet a few weeks ago asking how people do it and I got some good answers. So now I'm here trying to make my way back to myself, trying to find the drive to continue making, well, anything. Um, this video is a little different from the rest of the videos on my channel, but uh, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you continue to follow me in this new direction. Y2K originally released in January of 2019 and I bought it day one. It was a game that was recommended to me by the PlayStation Store and I was intrigued, so I bought it. I knew nothing about the development, the developers, what I was getting into, nothing. I just saw a game that looked cool, made the purchase, and then proceeded to stream it for some of my friends. After a few hours of playing the game in silence, one of my friends spoke up to proceed to say with her whole chest, this game is ass. Uh, Lizzie, I know you're not watching this, but uh, you might have been onto something. I stopped playing shortly after that because, well, after a couple hours of playing, I realized I just wasn't having any fun. All in all, the game was ass. The years went by, new games came out, I played them, and I never really thought about Y2K again until about a year ago when I came across this Running Shine video on YouTube. I'm a big fan of long form video game review content, so I checked it out and I truly didn't know just how bad it was. Now, we should try not to take anybody's review of a game as gospel. This is very bad on my part, and I think we should make our own opinions on media first because it's almost impossible to do so after someone has already poisoned the well. However, after watching that video, I decided to do some research on my own just to see what other people thought about the game, and it led me down a rabbit hole of controversy, memes, good and bad criticism, and after spending a night consuming many other Y2K reviews, I came to the conclusion, Y2K isn't just bad, it's terrible. But in spite of all of that, there was something different about it. I truly felt like there was a good game in there somewhere. The game might have just needed more time if only the developers gave it the polish it deserved. This is a super cool title screen. I really, really like this. Okay, let's go this way. Can I pick that up? See that green car just floating? Uh, it's drawing my attention, but I can't interact with it. You are banished, stripped of self and remade in sorrow. Be gone, worthless child. Oh, okay. Oh, this is trippy. It's a little tough on the eyes. I can't even lie to you. Oh, birds. Oh, I can't interact with the birds. I wonder what these birds are supposed to symbolize. Normally games like this are always trying to like have like meaning behind it. Or maybe I'm wrong for trying to attach meaning to things that are inherently meaningless. Child, what happened to your name? I just got here. They didn't give me one. Oh, there's like a run button so I can run too. Damn, the running speed is very fast. Oh, what's this? A very sad fountain. It does not heal you. Oh, okay. Carry, seek the good brother. Okay. Wait. Didn't the intro introduce me as Allison? Is this where I'm supposed to go? Looks like a little hand, like pointing. Am I tripping? Like, does that not look like a hand? 
Nah, that definitely looks like a hand. Why bro look at me like that? Did I just step in cat shit? Is that supposed to be the sound of me stepping in the shit? Maybe I can go clean myself at that fountain. Oh my god. Oh, I can't go back. So now I just have this. Oh my god. Oi, oi. Come back, Rory. Get this shit off my shoe. Oh, yeah, that's never going to get annoying. Oh, wait, a fire hydrant. Ah. Guess we'll go this way. Why did you wake me? What do you want? Um... I was hoping you had an invitation for me. I'm trying to get to the party. The party? Why the hell do you want to go there? How did you even get down here? I was pushed. You know it's my birthday party, right? Mm. Oh, is it? How wonderful! <laughs> Happy birthday! Um, could I please attend? My good brother has gone. You see, I'm fleeing from my bad brother and my cold, fuzzy memories of him. Cool. Yeah, I can work with that. Well, I'll need something in exchange. Oh, um, I don't have much. Uh, you can take this. I'm only a child, you see. I need your name. You can have my name. Okay. <sighs> See you at the party. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you looking at that for? Those are his private things. Okay, jeez, I'm just trying to get an idea of the vibe, you feel me? The vibes are rancid in here anyway. I'm out. I am a traveling thespian. Thought you were American. Was paid oh, yeah. I like it here. The story of this game contains mentions of missing persons, unsolved murders, and racial inequality. It also features a character that could take his own life depending on player actions. This could be disabled here. Disabled player consequences? Fuck no. The story is told intravenously. I don't, I, I probably did not say that right. I'm going to, hey Siri, I'm going to Google this word because I have no idea what that word means. <laughs> Educate yourself, kids. Don't be afraid to look up words. Yo, this track is crazy good. What the fuck? Intravenously is how you say that word, just so you know. What do you look like? Uh, one of these. No, you don't just walk into people's houses. Do you think this is some kind of video game? Uh, had to break it to you, lady, but uh, yes. I came to visit your mother, but she seems to be working all sorts of odd hours. She works really hard. Be good to her. Mm, we'll see. Okay. Ooh. I like this menu. Eggleston family portrait. Mm, that doesn't look like a family portrait. It looks like a... Uh, portrait of a lake or some type of some type of pond a framed ultrasound that's not what that is either this one is titled the colors of home wonder what that means but there's no home in there what's going on is this supposed to be is this supposed to <laughs> are these supposed to be like different or like i don't i can't tell if the developer accidentally forgot to swap these out maybe these were placeholders or if it's intentionally supposed to be wrong. That's my, see, that's my biggest problem with these, like, um, with these kind of like 
weird games because I never know if the game is trying to be weird or if the the game is bad. Oh, telephone ring. What? Yeah. That phone call was surely one of the strangest I've ever received. And no, I couldn't hear the music. Uh, okay. Oh, fountain soda. I'm definitely going to drink that. Oh! What's going on on Birch Street? Seem like it's uh, a bit lit in, uh, on, on Birch Street. Let me say real quick before I see what the fuck is going on. Is this the, is this the Covenant? Is this low tier gods? <laughs> this, lo <laughs> this low tier gods fan base? Lift it. I'm literally mashing. Okay, there we go. I guess I can't shoot it. Oh! And there it goes. I mean, that is the point of a demo, I guess. How did he not know if cats like to be... What the hey, fuck? Give them back to me! No shot. What the fuck is that? Meow. Come back here, you dumb cat. What the fuck? You like games, don't you, hon? <laughs> oh. Let me teach you one only the experienced gals know about. Intravenous style. Oh, okay. Blood on blood. I think you mean intrapenis style. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. Uh-oh. Timeline tutorial. When the dark game begins, You're each actor to, will... Trying to, trying to step up? Trying to take my crown? Nah, not a, I'm not about that. No way. What the fuck? Oh, what did you say? What the fuck? Was that was, uh... That was something. That was something, wasn't it? Oh, that's poisonous. I can't walk on the... On the weird Pepto Bismol liquid. Come fight me. Oh, it's a different battle thing. for me. Oh, I like how it's sweating. I'm assuming it's sweating because it's it's weak or maybe because it's uh, not protected by any carta. I uh, can't go back that way, so I hope that there wasn't more for me to see in that other. Oh my god, look at the. The little after effect. It's like in those old like windows when you have a virus or like your computer is freezing and then you drag the window around and have all those after images. God damn. Okay. I like the little okay at the end of combat. I actually like that quite a bit. I hope so, Alex rather straightforward however since you were a liberal arts major you want me to explain this entire thing again damn <laughs> wait so okay i have to switch off of it in order to okay i probably would have allocated the tool to a different button so that way i always has i always have access to the to running um because when you have a tool selected you you, you just can't run I mean, yeah, you can swap it off, but it's just like, why not just have it allocated to a different button? I think the top right, if I remember correctly, is how the original game used to look. There's saves everywhere. You don't have to put a save in every room. She didn't know elevators. I doubted she'd know her 20th century Spanish Catalan surrealist painters all that well either. <laughs> Clearly, 
believe this was a woman projecting a rather strong personality onto this cat. Clearly. My name is Alex. Nice to meet you. I'm Sammy. But please call me Sammy. Mm, sounds the same. Trusting you. I guess I always had a special spot for genders. Oh. Hey, careful with that word. That is our word. No fucking shot. Our word. Our word. Oh. Hey. Okay, it's a vending machine. I have a lot of fucking money. Holy, 200 bucks? Uh, shit, I'm buying some Supreme slices. What are you talking about? I get five. Give me five of them. I like. <laughs> I like the little faces. Ugh. I like that. I actually think I like this combat system a lot because it's making sure that you're constantly using your items and stuff too. What the it's... fuck? Hey, Alex, you good? So there's just no way around it. I'm going to have to kick you out. What the fuck, Alex? What the actual fuck was that? <laughs> huh? Oh, okay, that was a weird way to end. Hey, yay, 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 yay. Yeah, so I actually like the changes implemented with the demo. It feels as if they changed as much as they could without making just an entirely different game. Everybody loves a good comeback story, and I think this is just that, a comeback. The demo is funny and decently written. The world is interesting to look at. The dungeons are fun to run around in. I spent way too long on this panda puzzle because I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> The combat is much better than it was in the original, and I feel like it fixes the RPG design problem of item hoarding. The demo isn't perfect though, the game is very out there, and sometimes I couldn't tell if the game was trying to be weird or just not trying at all. This is a thousand percent a me problem. I tend to avoid surreal media because of this very problem. I just might be too stupid to get what Y2K is trying to say. I'm not sure if it's fair to put a number on something that isn't finished yet, but I really did like this demo. When the expansion releases, I will definitely be revisiting this game again, and if I have a lot to say after finishing it, then I will revisit this video with a little expansion of my own. If you like RPGs, gingers, poetically waxing, and stepping in cat shit, try out Y2K. And until next time, let's try to be kind to others and to ourselves.